Hey, I've got a Maytag 3000 series washing machine that's been throwing an F21 code right here uh, at the drain and spin cycle. That typically means that it's having trouble draining the water in the drum at the end of the wash cycle. Uh, there are a couple of things that would cause that to happen in my experience. One being the drain filter gets clogged with something like bobby pins or uh, Wash a washcloth or a sock or something like that. Um, in my case, I've emptied that drain filter out several times over the last couple of years whenever this happened. I typically have always found something in there, but currently I'm getting that F21 error when uh, nothing is in the filter, it's clean. So um, I'll do a quick visual of what it looks like to get into that and what the what that filter looks like what the motor looks like or the pump so to take the frame off of the access frame or access panel off of the frame to get to the pump and the filter there are three screw holes and you just unscrew those and then that panel just pops right off um, once you're in there this is the actual pump and filter unit so you've got the drain hose that goes out to your, your drain system. And then here is the black pump, or the black hose is the one that is emptying the drum. So it's draining the drum into here, into the filter, and then the pump pulls the water out to be disposed of. Um, the filter itself is right here, and you just unscrew that, and it slides right out. Um, the bad part is when it's not draining, there is a lot of water in the drum and when you unscrew the filter water just starts pouring out and there's not really a good way to prevent that from getting all over your floor or all into the drawer underneath it if you have one of the drawers so what I've done is just use my wet dry shop vac and just ever so slightly unscrew this and have that the hose of the shop vac running um, right up against it and it sucks all the water out and clean keeps it clean and dry um, That's a little bit of a process. It uh, usually takes me about 20 minutes to get through the whole thing But it's much better than having to clean up a bunch of water all over the place um, Unfortunately the last several times this has happened usually um, I can just clear the code by unplugging the the washing machine and then running a drain and spin cycle and then everything works great for a little while but occasionally um, and more recently I can barely get through a, a wash cycle without it happening uh, which is not great so I believe it's the pump that is gone bad at this point which is this part of it so I have ordered a, a whole new pump so the whole unit here is going to be replaced today um, that should be arriving today in the mail, so I've, I've just been prepping uh, to get it to where it's at right now, where it's not actually attached to anything. I had to slide the washing machine forward on the drawer frame a little bit, and you can see these two white uh, screw holes there. There are screws that mount this, this pump to the frame from underneath, so I had to slide that forward enough to where I could get those two screws out. It was very easy to get them out once I had the washing machine slid forward. And there's another side here, or another another part of it at the bottom that just slides into that little hole and shifts over to the left to hold it into place. So pretty easy. Um, I believe all I'm going to need to do is just take this drain hose off of the of the filter, take this drain hose off as well, and then this has an electrical connection right here. I've already unplugged the washing machine, so I believe I will just be unhooking this electrical connection and those two hoses, and then putting the new unit in and put all of it back together. Um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I got the new part in on schedule. Um, it had a little piece down here, which is what that piece is right there. And instead of fighting with trying to pull that out, I think I will just keep the old one in there and then just use that for screwing it in. Um, it's got a connector right here. 
which I was able to pull out the wire connector here. There's a, there's a little pinch clip right there that helped me get that out pretty easily. So I am just going to use a wrench to squeeze those clamps and get those pipes off. I'll put a towel down underneath it just in case there's any residual water in there. And then I'm essentially just going to reconnect that and that with the new pump and then just rewire it, reclip it, and fasten it back to the base to see what happens. All right, got the old one out. Um, this was still quite a bit full of water. Um, I did have, this is, this towel is now soaking wet. A lot of water came out of here. A lot of water came out of here. And I just had a towel down there and it soaked it up real quick. And some did get down in between here. So I'm gonna have to try to clean that up as best I can. Uh, so maybe have a shop back handy for that as well. And now I've got the new one ready to go. And uh, I'll just put it back in and reconnect the two hoses and the electrical connection. Uh, just to show you to get this piece out of the way, there are just little clamps back here that you can squeeze and they'll pop out. It's just little clips. And that can help you just pull it up out of the way a little bit. That helped me to get the piece, uh, the new pump in. I've got it clipped in or slid into the slot there. And I've got it set down from underneath. You can see there's just two little spots to screw those screws in. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'll turn it on and see how, and then I'll run a cycle and see how things go. All right, I'm running a rinse and spin cycle. I'll let that go for 19 minutes. And I'll just sit here and watch. I'll make sure we don't have any problems under here. I'll make sure. It sounds like it's what it needs to do, and I can see water flowing through the back of here. Well, first cycle, uh, the rinse and spin cycle completed successfully without any issues. Uh, we'll let this ride. We got a couple loads to do today. So uh, that is going. I did have a little bit of a leak coming out of this one, but the, the clamp was a little off kilter. So I readjusted that. And uh, other than that, everything seems to be working okay so far. But prior to this, uh, occasionally we would get the F21 code and other times we would not. Um, but the last time we tried to do laundry, it was very difficult just to get through a single load. So the fact that the rinse and spin completed without any problems is uh, a really good sign. So thanks for watching.